let's start our lesson, quarter two, week one, lesson one. Today, we are about to differentiate linear inequalities in two variables from linear equations in two variables. So at the end of the lesson, you should be able to differentiate linear inequalities in two variables from linear equations in two variables. So let's first define each terms. Let's start with linear equations in two variables. It is an equation is said to be a linear equation in two variables if it is written in the form of ax plus by equals c. This is the standard form, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and the coefficients of x and y are both not equal to zero. While linear inequalities in two variables, a linear inequality in two variables is an inequality that can be written in one of the following forms. Number one, or the first form, ax plus by is less than c. ax plus by is greater than c. ax plus by is less than or equal to c. ax plus by is greater than or equal to c where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a and b are both not equal to zero. Here are the following examples on linear equations and linear inequalities. Let's start with linear equations. x plus y equals 5. It is on the standard form. y equals 2x minus 6 is on its slope intercept form negative 4x plus y is equal to negative 10 is also in standard form but its coefficient is negative or the a is negative 5x minus 10y plus 2 is equal to 0 is on its general uh, general form so these are some examples of linear equations while in linear inequalities in two variables, we replace equal sign in these different symbols. x plus y is less than 5. y is greater than 2x minus 6. Negative 4x plus y is less than or equal to negative 10. 5x minus 10y plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Now, moving to quarter two, week one, lesson two. After we defined and differentiate linear equations in two variables from linear inequalities in two variables, we can now illustrate and graph of the linear uh, of the different linear inequalities in two variables. So at the end of the lesson, you should be able to illustrate and graph linear inequalities in two variables. Remember, if the inequality uses great, uh, less than or greater than, the boundary line is not part of the graph and is drawn as a dashed line. This is called an open half plane. If the inequality uses less than or equal or greater than or equal, the boundary line is part of the graph and is drawn as a solid line. This is called a closed half plane. The graph of an inequality in two variables is the set of points that represents all solutions to the inequality. The graph of a linear equation separates the coordinate plane into three sets of points on the, on the line, points above the line, and points below the line. 
A linear inequality divides the coordinate plane into two halves by a boundary line, where one half represents the solutions of the inequality. The boundary line is dashed for greater than and less than, and solid for greater than or equal and less than or equal. The half plane that is a solution to the inequality is usually shaded. So here are the steps in graphing linear inequalities into variables. First, replace the greater than, less than, less than or equal, or greater than or equal sign with an equal sign. Second, determine the intercepts. Third, locate the intercepts on the Cartesian plane. Fourth, connect the points. Remember, draw a solid boundary line for less than or equal or greater than or equal. Draw a dashed boundary line for less than or greater than. Fifth step, test a point in one half plane to which satisfy the inequality. And the last one, shade the appropriate half plane. Let's do an example. Graph Y greater than negative x plus 5. So first step, replace the symbol, the inequality symbol, with an equal sign. Since on our first example, the inequality symbol being used is greater than, this will be replaced to an equal sign. So y is equal to negative x plus 5. Step number 2, determine the intercepts. So, to find the x-intercept, your y is equal to 0. So, through substitution, we substitute 0 to y and then simplify. So, we have x-intercept, which is 5. To find y-intercept, we replace 0 to x. So, simplification or simplifying y is equal to 0 plus 5, our y-intercept is 5. Okay, for the third step, we need to locate the intercepts on the Cartesian plane. The intercepts are 5, 0, so located all along the x-axis, and y-intercept, 0, 5, located along the positive y-axis. For the fourth step, we have to connect the points. So going back to the inequality, the symbol there is greater than. So in other words, the boundary line that we are going to use is a dashed boundary line. So now, we already connect the points using a dashed boundary line. For the fifth step, test a point in one half plane to see which satisfy the inequality. So let's say I'll be testing a certain point below the dashed boundary line. Let's say this point with coordinates 1, 3. So let's um, test this point in the inequality. So we have to substitute y by 3 and x by 1. So 3 is greater than negative 1 plus 5. Simplifying negative 1 plus 5 is actually 4, positive. So 3 is greater than 4. This statement is false. So in other words, if I'm going to shade the appropriate half plane, it will not be below the dash boundary line. It will be above it. So this is the shaded portion of this inequality. So the half plane that is a solution to the inequality is usually shaded. So the solution to this inequality is 
above the dash boundary line. This is the solution of the inequality y is greater than negative x plus 5. So for more examples of inequalities, uh, watch out for the following videos of inequalities.